So uh, today, which topic we are going to cover is you know uh, usage of exceptions conditions in Bex query. Okay, so this topic. So what are these exceptions and conditions in Bex query? So we know you know about composite provider, and we know how to create a query on top of composite provider. So we have a query you know created on top of this composite provider. Uh, what was the query name? So if I open a query technical name, you know uh, in the general tab. I can see the query technical name. So if I go to sheet definition, I can see you know currently what is my report structure. So Calman material material group. So I'm removing these two material and the material group. I'm removing from my row section. As of now, I'm keeping Calman here and quantity here. Okay, I'm clicking on save. I'm saving my report. So if I try to execute this report on my analysis, you know, uh, office going here selecting my query giving selection of january to december click on ok so this is your initial output okay so now uh, we are going to learn the topic exceptions and conditions okay so first we will learn about conditions okay so in our bex query designer there is a tab you know specially designed for to apply these conditions this is the condition so what are, what are the conditions you know uh, why exactly we need conditions means when user executes the report like this mm. so how to say when coming to the example uh, you know these are this is the each month revenue okay for each month you know number of quantities sold on each month this query representing this one uh, user wants to okay no no let me change this to material level so if i bring material Oh, material is not in my free care. Let me add material into my free care section. Go to sheet definition. I missed out, uh, you know, some fields here. Material. And then uh, company code is there. Which one? Material group also. So I'm adding these to my report and uh, suppressing my result rows. Save. So I did some changes to my query and i want to this you know reflected on my output so it is not possible you know if you if you refresh the, your query it won't bring the new changes here you see it's not coming if you reset the query go to refresh all reset data source then any changes happened you know happened on this query on the back end those will be reflected you see now material material group is coming okay now i am bringing material also into my row section okay when I bring material, you see there are 31, 62, 30, 52, the least one is 15. Here I have 15, here I have 12, and uh, here I have um, 80, yeah, I think uh, 20. So when user want, is seeing this report, he don't want to see the least numbers. Okay, it means for example, if we take uh, 20 quantity, 13 quantities are least numbers okay at any point of time user don't want to see the numbers which are less than let's say 50 below 50 user considers as least numbers and he don't want to see such kind of you know information on his report then what we do we apply conditions on our report so that uh, you when user executes the report he won't see any values which are less than 50 okay so how to apply this condition so go to this uh, query designer go to conditions tab on the conditions here right click here new condition and then you saw condition here it is asking description you know uh, it is less than 50 Unless, uh, you know condition name when it is active it means uh, um, condition suppress less than 50. okay so this is my description and there's a tick box called active okay uh, i will tell you what is active in active here so now this is a description only now coming to the condition you need to write a condition here click on add button on the add button you see we have only one key figure in my query so that's why i'm getting quantity if you have more in your in your sheet definition on the key figure section if you have more then you can see more here okay so as of now quantity is there and what is your operator less than right 
less than or equal to or less than less than I am giving as of now value 50 okay um, member condition less than 50 now I think greater than I think just a second mm. Mm. so uh, what is our requirement in the report we want to see the data which is greater than 50 it means so you are creating a condition saying that the quantity must be always greater than 50 okay and click on ok so then this is there is a condition one call you know one line item created here now click on save you know you are saying you are saving your report and then i am going to my backend query okay i will reset my query once reset data source now click on uh, you know i am bringing my material into my you know report output now you see whichever rows are coming here all these rows are greater than 50 only so 52 there are no rows which are less than 50 okay but now what happened there is a condition applied on my report that's for, for that reason i am not able to see the other rows but how to know whether when user executes the report in the back end are there any conditions applied on my report or not if i want to verify just right click on your query uh, there will be bex conditions you see if you go to the selection bex conditions if something is there like this then it means there are some conditions defined on your query if the conditions are not defined then you won't get anything there okay so now i am right clicking here i am going to bex conditions if i click on this one it is like a toggle toggle button if you click here then tick mark will go off which means the condition is turned off now you see there are some rows with less than 50 value if you want to apply it if user wants to apply it again then bex conditions again select it then condition applied so if you design condition in the bex query then user have an option to turn it on or off on bex query level okay as per the user requirement if they want every time when they execute the report they want to turn it on we will make it on and save the query in the back end so that any user executes the report by default they will see only quantities greater than 50 but any point of time if user wants to see the least values also he simply can turn off these conditions okay and check what get data is coming from the backend so this is about conditions so like this you can create a different full mute type in andy srinivas garu okay. okay so like this we can create uh, multiple conditions here now when coming to this active inactive flag as i said user can have an option to turn it on or off if if this is active which means when you any user executes this bex query by default this condition is already applied on the query if you turn it off save it now i am turning off the bex query at the at the back end level means bex query designer level i am turning it off now if any user executes this query on his screen by default the condition won't apply if i bring material into my this one you see condition is not applying but when he goes to bex conditions he can see the defined conditions but as of now it was not applied now it's a user choice whether to sub you know activate this condition or not based upon his requirement so either two ways we will do we will create the condition and leave it to user to use it or not sometimes users ask us to create condition and make it active always then we will keep active in the backend i hope it is clear so this is about conditions so anything else we need to learn here assignments are there so assignment is you know only for the combinations we can activate and activate so you can do some r d on this one okay uh, i will give some example later point i don't remember exactly how to use this one but uh, we can you know discuss this later point okay at this point of time it is a uh, mostly we don't go to this assignment section in real time also until unless some you know exceptional cases independent characteristic assignment independent of all these uh, the suppression will apply that's it okay so if we if you if we want to quickly check it okay we will check it later 
So um, that's all about conditions topic. Now we are going to learn about exceptions. What is exceptions? What is the benefit of having exceptions? Okay. So for example, when you're seeing some charts, okay, uh, you know, uh, in progress report or in some charts, if the data was not looking good, they will mark it as red color. Like our traffic lights, like our traffic lights, red, amber, green, you know, on the data also, on our whatever data we are seeing on the report, we can, you know, make it multiple colors based upon the data value. It means the data which is less than 50, you know, make it red, which is between 50 to 75, make it amber, apart from green, remaining green. Like that you can, you know, define some exceptions on your data set. So let's try to create some exceptions. I created an exception here now, right click, exception, new exception, so created. Now I want to make it as, you know, and traffic lights, for example, uh, a business name. If they ask some business name, we can give some business name terminology also. Hmm. So traffic lights I'm giving as of now. Now go, you just like conditions, all, here we also, we do same. Alert level, good means green, something like that. Good, critical, bad. So I'm giving bad now. When it is bad, if my value less than 50, uh, less than let's see one let's see what the data we have mm, we have data at a different level right mm, what was the data set we have we have 12 31 44 15 50 after 50 to 100 anything we have yeah 62 mm, okay nice so i am creating a condition here less than 50 i am marking it as a bad data means uh, means you know too much uh, red color something bad means it represents the color of it okay next one more i am adding uh, this time it is uh, critical let's say critical uh, then you know what is critical if it is between between value between 50 and 100 i am marking it as a critical and making it as good greater than or equal to 100 i added three different exception parameters here i am clicking on save so you see active button is checkmarked it means when i run the report by default this condition will be activated i am refreshing you know resetting my data source um, report so that it will you know reflect the changes you see at this point of time the quantity everything is showing as green color good means like this green color okay so now if i bring material into picture now you see wherever i see 80 50 to 62 those are nothing but between 50 to 100 that's why you see some yellow if i you know remove my condition max condition on suppress 50 whichever less than 50 you see the red color so like this, if you user wants to, you know, highlight because colors always give, you know, good impression uh, or, you know, it will be highlighted to us. So sometimes users may ask to provide, uh, you know, coloring to their data. So at that time we do like this. So then what is this, the, you know, green one, good one, good to good something. So I'm going to bad, I'm going to edit. Instead of bad one, I'm giving bad three. So to my knowledge, uh, you know, this is nothing but simply let me, you know, reset my data source, click on OK, bring Calmant, and sorry, material, and then suppress uh, conditions uh, and suppress this one. You see, the intensity of the red color got changed. Earlier it was a little bit light. Now it is a little bit dark. If I give an, you know, good to, then it will be a little bit less. So the, the you know thickness of the color represents this one two three symbols okay so that's it these are all about you know uh, conditions and exceptions in the bex query so sometimes we may need to implement these two so when coming to this definition yeah, these are some high level settings you know uh, if you want to make it more uh, specific then you can use these options at this point of time you know it is uh, not required if you are very good in reporting then learn these two also but at this point of time learning till this point is more than enough for a learner okay so that's all so i'm stopping recording